What's up, everybody? Josh Charmijo here. I hope everybody's doing good and want stuff. I got an album review to do for you, and I'm going to be talking to you about the new album from the band Aura Noir, entitled Aura Noir. This is released on Indie Recordings. Now, if you're not too familiar with this band, they are based out of Oslo, Norway, and the best way to describe the sound of this band would be a very traditional, aggressive, blasphemous hybrid of both black metal and thrash metal. Uh, yeah. I would say that a band like Aura Nora are incredibly synonymous when it comes to the history of Norwegian extreme metal. A uh, very recognizable approach, aggression, and sound in their music. Very distinctive body of work. People who have been involved in some incredibly notable bands throughout the years. Of course, I'm talking about the trio of Aggressor, Apollyon, and Blasphemer. All of which whom have made very distinctive impacts in their own respective careers. Playing in such bands like Virus, Ved Buen's End, Dotheimsgard, Olver... Uh, immortal mayhem just to name a few uh, these guys are absolute geniuses and have contributed so much to Norwegian metal and extreme metal as a whole but uh, Aura Noir has been pretty much their respective thing and they have put out classic classic albums uh, their 1996 debut uh, Black Thrash Attack absolute classic from the genre and then later material like The Merciless um, and um, the last time we had heard something from them was back in 2012 with uh, Out to Die. Uh, that album was very awesome in its own right. And um, when I found out that there was going to be a new Aura Noir record on the horizon, you could easily tell that something was going on because this band was in the midst of doing some, some North American touring. I believe they did some shows with um, uh, Weregoat, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, those shows ended up selling out very fast and doing very well and drawing very well because Aura Noir are still a very big deal I would say. They still know how to attract a crowd and get the job done playing live shows but as far as new material goes I was very excited. As soon as I heard one of the newer songs, uh, Dark Lung of the Storm, I was hooked right away and I could tell that they were going for a more stripped down uh, no-nonsense sort of approach for this record and I was wondering if it was going to affect this this brand new record which I don't know if I want to say that this is self-titled because the word noir is spelled a little differently uh, in comparison to the band name but it's whatever that's how I'm gonna say it here or a noir or a noir whatever uh, it's nine tracks and it clocks in at around 32 minutes in length and as I said before um, Listening to that song, Dark Lung of the Storm, it only gave me an idea of what to expect from this record. And it's short, sweet, to the point. It's no-nonsense, straight-up, black thrash, done the old-fashioned way, done the proper way. And I think there's a lot to sink your teeth into with this R. Noir record. It is just a blast to listen to. Um, right from the get-go, the guitar playing is definitely... Uh, there's just something about the way these riffs sound, the way every guitar riff sounds, the way every lead-in is just, it just sounds wonderful. Hearing it on Dark Lung of the Storm and then going on to later tracks like Grave Dweller, uh, The Obscuration, Shades of Blaze, just some seriously aggressive sounding guitar playing going on here and definitely kind of picking up a little bit where... Um, out to die left off but then you get those um, you get those kind of guitar riffs that give, send you shades of the earliest eras of war on war and it, it really sounds fantastic here I love this guitar playing I love how warm and fuzzy everything sounds uh, the bass work on here is equally as good definitely something very warm and, 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 and audible in this mix I love this production sound it definitely has that gritty traditional 90s era sort of vibe and value going for it I really love that about these about this guitar and bass work it really does sound fantastic um, the drum work on here never lets up it's another another distinctive quality about this record is the fact that it has such a traditional uh, traditional roots sort of vibe going for it. I love the way the double bass is. I love the rumbling factor of this record. Uh, I love the fills. I love the, the the composition work that the drum 
the drums do, especially when it comes to the more intriguing sort of lengthier tracks on this record. There are only really two lengthy tracks on here, uh, Hell's Lost Chambers and uh, Mordant Wind. You get some really good stamina and endurance on those songs, but it's the more quicker and straight-to-the-point sort of tracks. Going back to songs like The Obscuration and um, Demoniac Flow, seriously great drum work going on here. And um, vocals here are on top of their game here. I love the aggression and the anger coming out of this uh, out of Aggressor's vocals. Uh, you can clearly understand everything that he says. He has a very distinctive vocabulary and wordplay when it comes to his vocals and his, his, his musical stylings. It just sounds great, and he does a tremendous job. Uh, leading on the charge, leading on the force, and just putting on a very, very good vocal performance. Definitely something to carry this album through this short running time. So, overall, Aura Noir back up and running. This is a very, very awesome Black Thrash record. I don't think this is the best Aura Noir record, um, but when it comes to consistency and just overall great albums, this is another really awesome album in their discography. I don't know whether the whether the think albums like Black Black Thrash, Black Thrash Attack or The Merciless. I would consider those two the peak or noir records. But this new album is just sick. It is just badass all the way through. Traditional Black Thrash metal done properly by people who know exactly what the hell they're doing. Uh, if I had to think of any personal favorite tracks, I would definitely have to say Dark Lung of the Storm, Grave Dweller, The Obscuration, uh, Shades of Blaze, and uh, Cold Blown Grasp. Seriously killer shit. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you some links in the description box so you can get a hold of this album and listen to it. I will leave you a link to the Aura Noir Bandcamp page where you can listen to this album in its entirety, hear it for yourself, and be your own judge as to whether you think it's worthy of being purchased or not. You can stream it, buy it digitally, and it is available physically as a CD, and I believe it's also a 12-inch vinyl. Uh, I, I will leave you links to where you can purchase that. I'm Keep your eye out for it just in case it happens to pop up in the U.S., uh, again, the album is uh, Aura Noir by Aura Noir. This is released on Indie Recordings. Go support this. And for a score, I'm going to give this a very solid 9 out of 10. Very, very badass Black Thrash record. Uh, if you happen to have heard this album, definitely let me know what you think about it, how you feel about it, and how you think it compares to previous Aura Noir records, or any of you guys into Aura Noir. Definitely let me know. I'm going to conclude this review. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for checking out my channel. And until next time, Army Hell out.